Hi, welcome back to educator.com. This is the lesson on biological diversity. All right, the basics. Biological diversity is the relative variety of life forms or number of species in an area. And the exact definition can vary depending on what people are talking about. And we'll get to that in a, in a slide in a sec. Just a quick review, species versus population. You may have heard this before in this course or in biology, but a species is all the individuals, whether it's animal, plant, fungi, protist, bacteria, uh, who can interbreed, um, who have the same kinds of DNA in terms of the genes that are able to interact to make offspring. But their exact sequences of DNA will, of course, vary um, because even with bacteria that reproduce asexually, they still get mutations and they still have genetic variation. But if organisms have the ability or potential to mate and produce offspring, they are of the same species. Populations would be the individual groups of a species. So you could say that the entire species is made up of many populations. And if a species is close to extinction, there may be just one population left. But yeah, population is all the individuals of one species in a particular area. People value biodiver biodiversity for various reasons. Uh, one of them is a utilitarian reason. So utilitarian viewpoints have to do with uh, benefits to people or individuals. So if having a certain number of species in an area has any benefit to people, that's a utilitarian reason for valuing it. Public service. Uh, this came up in a previous lesson. If there is natural capital, if there is some kind of benefit that the entire population of humans gets from nature, uh, whether it's uh, bees that are pollinating or um, a marsh that's getting rid of toxins and you know changing some kind of toxin into a non-toxic form over time, that's a public service reason for biodiversity in an environment. Ecological reasons. If uh, food webs uh, rely on a certain level of biodiversity, removing species from that food web, disrupting the ecological balance, well, that's not necessarily a good thing. So um, that's uh, the reason that's ecolog ecological. Moral, um, the belief that uh, every organism has uh, value and the right to live, that's a moral approach to it uh, beyond just uh, you know morality related to us. Theological, uh, there are various religions where um, it, it may be the belief uh, as part of that faith that God has created all of these organisms and you don't want to disturb God's creation. You want to uh, be in harmony with it as much as possible. Now, these other four, uh, these are, are more uh, regarding the intangibles. Uh, so some people may consider them to be not as important in terms of them being reasons for valuing biodiversity, but I'm including them. So aesthetic reasons, just the fact that it looks beautiful having all this array of life in an environment, there's value to that. Uh, recreational, if you like going whitewater rafting on hikes, if you like camping, you certainly would uh, have the point of view that there's a recreational value. Uh, to having biodiversity in nature. Spiritual, if it gives you uh, a better sense of you know, yourself and, and kind of uh, as being a part of the universe, uh, maybe through meditation or just being at one with nature, um, biodiversity can have spiritual value. And finally, creative. You could claim that biodiversity has influenced artists, it's influenced uh, writers. Um, so inspiring them, there's value to that. Uh, chameleons, pretty cool. Uh, just one small part of biodiversity in rainforests. 